Hey everyone, welcome to the exciting guide on creating amazing vector graphics without needing Adobe Illustrator. We'll be exploring a bunch of cool options, both free and paid, that fit your skills and budget. Whether you're a newbie just starting out or a professional, we've got something for everyone. So grab your favorite drink, settle in, and let's unlock your creative potential. Here's a table that breaks down all the program choices in a way that's easy to understand. We'll be revealing each software pick in detail throughout the video, so keep an eye on the table as we go. First, let's explore some fantastic free software options that can help you create stunning vector graphics even if you're just starting out. Category A. Super strong and free. Inkscape. The best of free vector editors. It has lots of things to make lines, shapes, and colors, and lets you change them in many ways. Great for people who already know how to use drawing programs. It has a big, active community. Inkscape has a lot of features, which can be a bit overwhelming at first. Pros. Inkscape is like the super-powered free option for vector graphics. It's got a ton of tools you can use to draw anything you imagine, from shapes and lines to crazy colors and effects. Here's the cool part. It's completely free. Plus, you can customize it to work exactly how you like. Cons. Inkscape can be a bit tricky to learn at first, especially compared to some simpler programs. Vector. Looks simple, but is great for quick vector creations, especially for social media graphics and icons. It's a great option for beginners or those on a tight budget. Pros. Easy to use. Vector is a game changer for beginners. You'll be a vector pro in no time. You can work with others on the same project. Cons. Missing advanced tools for complex work. However, Vector doesn't have all the super fancy tools you might find in some other programs. So, if you're creating super complicated designs, you might need something a bit more advanced. But for quick creations and working with others, Vector is a great free choice. Category B. For new designers. Gravit Designer. Imagine a program that lets you create awesome graphics for your videos, design your dream website, and even add a little bit of animation, all for free. That's what Gravit Designer is all about. It's an online platform that offers many tools for vector creation, make logos, icons, and other crisp graphics. UI design like plan out the layout and look of your website, and even simple animations like bounce or movement to your designs. Pros. Easy to use, can work with others on the same project. Cons. Limited file types compared to some paid tools. Boxy SVG. It's a lightweight editor perfect for beginners learning vector graphics. Boxy SVG is a program like a toolbox, but instead of building things, you build cool pictures for computers. It's perfect for people just starting out because it's simple to use. You can draw different at shapes like circle, square, and any fancy shapes. You can change the colors and pattern, edit your pictures, and save your work for later changes. Pros. Very easy to learn. No need for a fancy art degree. Perfect for creating logos for your YouTube channel or cool icons for your website. Cons. Missing tools for complex work. It's great for beginners, Boxy SVG doesn't have all the features of some other programs, so if you want to create super complex designs, you might need something more advanced. 3. Figma. Figma's free plan allows basic vector creation and prototyping, making it great for web and app designers. Figma lets you create sharp images and even mock up how websites and apps will work. It's kind of like a designer's toolbox, built especially for websites and apps. Pros. Streamlined for UI UX workflow, Figma has special features that make designing websites and apps way easier. Can work with others on the same project. Cons. Missing some tools for general illustration compared to other vector editors. While Figma is awesome for web and app design, it might not have all the fancy tools you'd find in programs made just for drawing and illustration. Figma has a free plan that lets you try out all the basic features, which is perfect for beginners who are curious about design and want to give it a try. Category C. Hidden Gems. For the adventurous designer, Pencil 2D. It is an open-source software perfect for 2D animation fans. It lets you create vector graphics specifically for animation projects. Pencil 2D is a free program that's super fun for anyone who wants to make their own cartoons. Imagine taking your drawings and bringing them to life with cool animations. Pros. Animation made easy. Pencil 2D has special tools that make it easier to create smooth animation effects like making your drawings move and talk. Free to use, no charge. You can download it and use it for anything you want without paying a cent. Cons. Hard to learn animation features. Those animation tools can be a bit tricky to learn at first. It might take some practice to get your cartoons moving just the way you want. Krita. 
Known for digital painting, Krita also offers basic vector tools that can be good for illustration. Krita is a free program that lets you create amazing paintings on your computer just like a digital artist. Krita also has some tools for making sharp, clean images that are perfect for things like cartoons and logos. Pros Krita is packed with features that make painting on your computer feel supernatural and fun. Want to combine your drawings with some digital painting? Krita lets you do both in one program. Cons while Krita can do some vector stuff, it might not have all the fancy tools you'd find in programs specifically made for creating those sharp, clean images. Now let's level up and explore some paid software options that offer even more features and power for serious design projects. Category D, the all-rounders, for the professional illustrator, Affinity Designer. Have you ever heard of a powerful program that lets you create amazing graphics for logos, icons, and even illustrations, but for a much smaller price tag as compared to some other options? That's Affinity Designer. Powerful and affordable, Affinity Designer offers features similar to Illustrator at a lower price. Pros Budget-friendly choice Unlike some programs that charge you a monthly fee, Affinity Designer lets you pay a one-time price and get access to all the features forever. This can be a huge money saver, especially if you're just starting out with graphic design or if you don't use the program every single day. Lots of design tools. Affinity Designer has everything you need to draw, color, and add effects to your creations. Cons. Less popular choice. Affinity Designer isn't quite as well known as some other programs, so you might find fewer online tutorials or communities for help. Coral Draw. It is a classic design program that's been around for a long time. CorelDRAW has many design tools and resources. Think of it as a giant toolbox with everything you could ever need to create amazing graphics. Pros. CorelDRAW is loaded with tools for drawing, editing photos, designing layouts, and more. It's like a one-stop shop for all your design needs. CorelDRAW includes a library of pre-made designs and templates that you can use as a starting point for your projects. This can save you a bunch of time and effort, especially if you're new to graphic design. Cons With so many features, Coral Draw can be a bit tricky to learn at first. There's a lot to explore. Unlike Affinity Designer's one-time purchase, Coral Draw typically requires a monthly subscription fee. Category E, the UI UX Specialists, for web and app design. Sketch Sketch is a design program built specifically for creating the look and feel of websites and mobile apps, and I think Sketch is the best for UI UX design. Imagine it like a tool belt designed just for app designers. It excels in creating user interfaces, UI, and user experiences, UX, for web and mobile apps. Pros Made for apps Sketch has special features that make designing how apps look and work, UI UX, much easier and faster. Bring your app ideas to life. Sketch lets you create mock-ups like sample screens to show what your app will look like before you actually build it. Cons Mac only. Sketch is only available for Mac computers, so if you're on a PC, you'll need to look at other options. While Sketch is great for app design, it might not be the best choice for things like creating logos or illustrations. There are other programs better suited for those tasks. Category F. The cloud-based contenders for collaboration and accessibility. Vector. The premium plan of Vector offers more features like unlimited cloud storage and better collaboration tools. Pros. It has a free version. This lets you create cool images and even work on them with a friend at the same time. More space and tools. For a small monthly fee, you get a bunch more storage space to save your creations and some extra tools that make working with others even smoother. Cons. Even with the paid plan, Vector might not have all the fancy options you'd find in some programs you download to your computer. Canva Pro. Canva is already a popular tool for creating awesome visuals for your YouTube channel, social media posts, and other online projects. But did you know there's a paid version called Canva Pro that offers some bonus features for vector graphics? Pros Great for social media graphics and simple illustrations, easy to use. Cons Missing advanced tools for complex vector work. In short, if you're already using Canva and want to step up your social media graphics game with some simple illustrations, Canva Pro might be a good fit. But for super detailed vector art, you might want to explore other options. That was a lot of amazing software options to choose from. Remember, the best software for you depends on your specific needs and skill level. Don't be afraid to experiment and find the tool that sparks your creativity. Let me know in the comments below which software you like or the most. Have you tried any of these options before? Share your experiences in the comments section. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more design-related content.